Brought to you by wikivd.com The Maze Runner Film The Maze Runner is a 2014 American dystopian science fiction action thriller film directed by Wes Ball, in his directorial debut, based on James Dashner's 2009 novel of the same name. The film is the first installment in the Maze Runner film series and was produced by Ellen Goldsmith Bain, Wick Godfrey, Marty Bowen, and Lee Stolman with a screenplay by Noah Oppenheim, Grant Pierce Myers and T.S. Nolan. The film stars Dylan O'Brien. Kaya Scodelario, A. M. L. Amin, Thomas Brody Sangster, Ki Hong Lee, Will Poulter, and Patricia Clarkson. The story follows 16-year-old Thomas, portrayed by O'Brien, who awakens in a rusty elevator with no memory of who he is, only to learn H.E.S. been delivered to the middle of an intricate maze, along with a large number of other boys, who have been trying to find their way out of the ever-changing labyrinth, all while establishing a functioning society in what they call the Glade. Development of the Maze Runner began in January 2011, when Fox purchased the film rights to Dashner's novel with film studios Temple Hill Entertainment and TSG Entertainment. Principal photography began in Baton Rouge, Louisiana on May 13, 2013 and officially concluded on July 12, 2013. The Maze Runner was released on September 19, 2014 in the United States by 20th Century Fox. The film received mixed to positive reviews from critics, who considered it better than most young adult book-to-film adaptations. Though the ending and the lack of plot clarity received some criticism, the film was also a commercial success, as it topped the box office during its opening weekend, with a $32.5 million debut, making it the seventh highest grossing debut in September. The film earned over $348 million worldwide at the box office, against its budget of $34 million. A sequel, Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, was released on September 18, 2015 in the United States. Development In an interview with Collider, director Wes Ball stated he had made a 3D computer-animated science fiction post-apocalyptic short film, titled Ruin, which he intended to use in order to gain access to Hollywood. He presented the short in 3D to 20th Century Fox. The studio initially considered a film adaptation of the short film, as it had the same tone of the Maze Runner novel they already planned to bring to the screen. Ball was then offered the chance to direct the novel adaptation. Casting for the role of Teresa, Kaya Scodelario was Ball's first choice as she was fantastic, and because he loved her in the TV show Skins. Dylan O'Brien, the lead role, was rejected by Ball. Ball recounts, Dylan was actually, I saw him early on, very early on and I overlooked him. It was a big learning experience there, because I overlooked him, because of his hair. He had teen wolf hair and I couldn't see past that and so we were looking for our Thomas. And it's a tough role to make, because he comes in as a boy and he leaves as a man. So it can't be like this badass action star that comes into this movie. It's about vulnerability up front and then he comes out of it and comes into his own. And then the next movies are about the leader that emerges from the group. So finally Fox says, we just did this movie, The Internship. There's this kit that's in this thing. H.E.'s like 20 years old. We think H.E.S. kind of got something, so I watched his tape and was like, wait a minute, I've seen this kid before, I looked him up online. And there was one picture of him with a totally shaved head. And it's this sweet vulnerable looking kid and I was like, whoa, interesting, I said. 
Wait a minute, H.E.S. just so familiar, and I looked back at my old audition tapes, which we had thousands of, and there's Dylan. That guy the first said, no, definitely not him, so we brought him back in and we started to talk with him. And I'm like, H.E.S. the coolest dude ever. Blake Cooper entered the film via Twitter. Ball revealed a lot on Twitter, and many kids wanted to be Chuck. Cooper constantly bugged Ball, until Ball told him to give his tape to his casting director, and Ball was impressed by Cooper's tape and cast him. Soundtrack Composed by John Paisano, the soundtrack consists of 21 tracks and was released on September 16, 2014. Home Media the Maze Runner was released on Region 1 DVD and Blu-ray Combo Pack December 16, 2014. The Combo Pack includes two hours of bonus features and extras as well as an exclusive comic book. Box Office the film grossed $102,427,862 in North America and more than $245.8 million in other territories, for a worldwide total of $348.3 million prior to its release in the US and Canada. Box office analysts predicted the film would be a box office success citing effective marketing, good word of mouth publicity and a solid release date. Preliminary reports predicted the film would open with takings of over $30.32 million in North America. According to movie ticket sale website Fandango, the Maze Runner was the biggest seller accounting for more than 50% of early ticket sales. The film was released on September 19, 2014 in the United States and Canada across 3,604 locations and over 350 IMAX theaters. It earned $1.1 .1 million from Thursday night shows, and $11.25 million on its opening day. It topped the box office on its opening weekend, with $32.5 million of which 9% of the gross came from IMAX theaters. Its opening weekend gross is the 7th highest for a film released in September, and the 18th highest for a young adult book adaptation. The film earned a total of $102,272,088 at the North American box office becoming the 26th highest grossing film of 2014 in the US and Canada. Outside North America, the film debuted in five countries a week prior to its North American release and earned a total of $8.3 million. The film had a similar success overseas during its wide opening second weekend earning $38 million from 7,547 screens in 51 markets. It opened in South Korea with $5.5 million which is higher than the openings of The Hunger Games in Divergent, the UK, Ireland and Malta with $3.4 million behind Gone Girl, and China, with $14.58 million behind Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Other high openings were witnessed in Russia and the CIS, France, Australia, Mexico, Taiwan, and Brazil. It became the third highest grossing film of all time in Malaysia for Fox. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.